If you talk to someone that has recently moved, started a new job, or retired, and ask them what they miss most about their past situation, one of the most common answers is that they miss the people that were in their life. What that actually means is that they miss the social connections or relationships that they had with those people. Social connections or social interactions with other individuals is crucial to mental health, which in turn is crucial to overall health. The lack of social connections has shown to increase stress hormones, weaken the immune system, and lessen cardiovascular functions. People who are lonely tend to consume more alcohol, exercise less, have less quality sleep, and fatigue easily. Social relationships allow you to share your achievements and have support when times are tough. Imagine achieving a long-term goal you had. What's the first thing you want to do? Tell someone, of course. Or imagine if something terrible happens. Not having someone to lean on and talk to can make that event linger and make you feel even more isolated. Giving support in relationships can actually be more beneficial than receiving support. When someone shares something positive in their life with you, it's a compliment. They wanted you to be a part of their success, and they know that you have a sincere interest in their life. And when someone shares a tragedy in their life, you know they really trust you, and they're looking to you to help them through this difficult time. Now, some social relationships can be bad. A person that is constantly negative and has a poor outlook can bring you down and cause stress, making that relationship toxic. Someone that always talks about themselves and makes all of your interactions about them, well, that's not really a social connection. In that case, you're just an audience member in their one-person show on how wonderful their life is. Poor marital or poor relationship quality can also weaken the immune system and erode physical health. Dealing with stress from a poor relationship can lead to over-consuming food or alcohol, smoking, or taking medications to deal with the stress, which in turn can damage systems in the body. Connections through social media can be beneficial by allowing you to stay in touch with friends and family. However, social media connections are not a good alternative for face-to-face, in-person contact. And too much time spent on social media can lead to more isolation and a greater feeling of loneliness. It's a good practice to use social media in moderation. To be healthy, we need people in our lives. It doesn't need to be 5,000 Facebook friends, and we don't have to have everyone like us. Having strong social relationships with just a few people is fine. A few people that we can share life's good and bad moments with, a few people that we can connect with on a regular basis with no stress and no judgments. A few people who accept us for who we are. 